We're gonna tax. Oh, that's not good for foreign relations. Still, we need to balance the budget somehow. Quill's not gonna survive this turn. It's possible. Pollution. Oh, <gasps> pollution is under control. Yes, I'm awesome. We've got no poverty, no crime either. Health is basically maxed. Education is basically maxed. GDP is nearly maxed despite the global recession. Uh, just unemployment would be nice to deal with. There's a toxic race dump uh, being proposed. No one wants toxic waste in their backyard, but we do fools to turn our back on economic gains from setting up this facility, da 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 Or we could prevent it. Doesn't matter how many jobs and how much money is involved. We cannot just take the attitude of renting out our country as a rubbish pit for other nations. Prevent, prevent, allow. No, prevent, allow, prevent, 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 prevent. Okay. Boom. Done. Okay. Uh, we actually ran a surplus. Well, let's drop the income tax. I don't think Democracy 3 had these indicators on here, so it made it a lot harder to do. We made a promise. We're going to do it. We balanced it out with other taxes. Boom. It is cheap to lower income tax. I don't like to see it raised, but it's cheap to lower. Imagine keep your political promises. I know, right? Okay, we've got that. So the next thing we do have to tackle is the gender equality laws. Um, we do have that one policy we can run. It's very expensive to kick in. What I might do here is look at what we can do with the current thing. So better assistant with family planning, you know, available availability of birth control, various things like that. Uh, gender equality goes up. Health goes up. Education goes up. Liberals like it. The religious don't, but again, they hate me to death. Anyway, literally, uh, conservatives don't like me very much either. It does lower membership in the parents uh, group because fewer people become it. But I'm going to go and run this first because it's fairly easy for us to implement. Um, yeah, it's going to cost us two to do it. So it's really cheap for us to throw this in. So let's do that. Um, what else can we do now? Gender Equality Act. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, it's only cost two. Yeah, yeah. Let's crank the hell out of this. For some reason, I thought this one was pricey, but no. I thought it needed a lot of points. There must be some other policy that takes a lot of points. Uh, the genital mutilation ban is maxed already. Maternity leave. Oops. Misclick. Maternity leave. Um, does lower uh, does lower productivity, but dramatically increases gender equality. And, you know, it, it, balanced maternity leaves is actually probably the single best thing um, that we can do in a, you know, from a capitalistic point of view, right? I'm not talking about, you know, uh, various, you know, awareness of various issues and things like this, but in terms of like an economic law that can be passed to dramatically increase gender equality, this would be a big thing because one of the things that really holds up women is that they're ex expected to be the ones to, to stay at home, right? Post, post baby for like the entirety of the time where the dude doesn't take any time off, which means the dude's career keeps progressing, whereas the woman's career is gets put on pause, which has, I mean, you guys play strategy games, you know, everything is like, you know, it's everything as exponential, right? So a little change early on makes a big difference later on. Um, and so by doing this, uh, it means that both, so with full paternity leave and everything like that too, it means that dudes can also stay home. Which is good, you know? Maybe maybe it's first six months is, is you know, the lady person, and after that it's the dude person. That's a pretty good idea. Now we all get to stay home. Yep. What's interesting is the policy itself doesn't cost us anything. I mean, we're just passing a law. There's no cost to implement it. It does lower productivity because more people are taking more time off. But you know what? It seems to work for, like, Northern European countries, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Plus, we promised to increase gender equality, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And it just seems like a good freaking idea, at least to me. I think that's all the changes we can do. Oh, no, that we can make a change to the child benefit thing. We may. We don't have enough to max it out. It doesn't have as big of an impact on equality as some other things. It's also a little expensive. We may consider this, especially when we can max it out. Um, what we're going to do is potentially wait. And we'll, we'll save up some points here. And we'll look to see if there's more policies that might have a bigger direct impact on equality. Uh, ideally with less money. We'll see. Robots will pick up the slack in productivity. I mean, maybe. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. It's oh, my popularity is super high. Probably helps that I'm actually keeping my promises. How's disposable income? 
Oh, sorted by different groups as well. Neat. Oh yeah, focus group. You can just like click on random people here. So this is a, a random procedurally generated person. If this person were part of various groups, how would they overall feel about us? So kind of neat. All right. Um, slight budget surplus, which is good in a global recession. We're out of points. Imagine leader keeps promises. It would be nice if there were more that did it. We've got one, an international literary award. Tourism gets a boost. That's huge. Global economy is still in recession, still going down. Oof. Is there anything else over here? Budget reports, da 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 da. Intelligence services, okay. Overall risks aren't too bad. We now had an $8 billion deficit. That's much more to be expected. Much more to be expected. Yeah, we could see what we're spending on the most. Right now it is state pensions uh, by a fair bit. After that, it really does flatten out. We could, we could even consider cutting it if we were desperate for money. I'm hoping to avoid it though. Uh, uncompetitive economy, still dipping a little low, but not where we want it. Gig economy is still definitely in place. Environmental protests are almost going to be over. Once they go away, it's going to alleviate some traffic congestion and boost our GDP, which is going to be nice. Respiratory disease, flattening out a little bit. Not really surprised we haven't done anything to uh, um, boost our, um, our, or improve our environment in a few ticks here as we're working on a few other things. So the only thing we haven't met yet is the gender equality, although, whoa! Oh, it's going we might not actually have to do anything else the gender discrimination act has uh, eight full quarters to take into effect and it's only been running for a quarter or two family planning takes four, four full four full quarters as well so they're still going to kick in we actually might hit our 91 percent gender equality targets as is what i'll do is i'll wait before i push any more buttons over there to see if we need to push things over the top meanwhile we can go back to thinking about the economy and the environment boom 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 yeah these doctor strikes man I, I kind of want to spend more money on state health care, but I'm worried about this giant deficit. Cutting all these income taxes, that was the big thing, right? The income tax cut, that's dramatically decreased um, our uh, in income. So we might find just other ways to tax things. It's going to upset some people. Maybe we do run the empty homes tax. Hmm. Let's do an empty homes tax just because we do have a housing bubble problem. Yeah, I'm worried about the brain drain a little bit. It's whiskey and chocolate. Oh, hey, Belbala. Read in Tropical Manor. I see, like every good El, Tra El Presidente, a little bit of swaying is not enough for the secret chocolate and whiskey fund to finance the glorious trains, but we will succeed. <sighs> but I, I... It's now the right time to build a state rail company. It does boost productivity, which is nice. You kind of need money first. How about a frequent flyer tax to keep helping the environment? This will lower air travel a lot. It will hurt the GDP a little. But our actual GDP is not bad. It will lower air travel a lot, which helps the environment... Um, you know, so indirectly there, because the environment isn't being helped directly by the frequent flyer tax, but it will be helped indirectly. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to just save the rest of my points so we can do some of the, the harder to get policies. Oh, we've got an oil drilling opportunity, you guys. Oh, boy. Do we want to drill, baby, drill? Or maybe we want to prevent drilling. 
uh, because the valuable wildlife refuge, that's specifically in a wildlife refuge, would be devastated by oil, oil exploration. It's one of our nation's great tre national treasures. Would be criminal record just to boost domestic oil production. We have been um, working pretty hard to lower our uh, oil demand as much as possible. So I don't think we need to do this. Chat's fairly split. I'm going to go with prevent, though, since uh, we've clearly gone for a very uh, environmentally centric policy. I mean, right now, it, the, the environmentalists love it. The capitalists don't love it, which doesn't help us sort of with a political situation, but because um, it doesn't make much of a difference for us. But it's still hopefully better for the environment. How are we doing? Getting there. Deficit. Deficit's not as much as it was. I am tempted to fund our um, our state health services better. Honestly, I'm tempted to just like max it. We may not quite be able to do afford that. What I'll do maybe is I'll bring it here. It's going to cost us 11 political capital instead of 21. It does increase the costs a fair bit by about 5 million a quarter. But it will help reduce some hospital overcrowding, which is one of our problems. It helps a little with the doctor strike. I don't know if it's going to do much. Um, yeah, it's time. It's time for us to boost this. Well, I mean, we have a deficit, and it's going to continue to be a deficit, but it's going to have to be the way it's going to have to be. Uh, we could raise something like, you know, corporate income tax and things, but I don't know. Capital gains tax. We're gonna earn a lot of money. Yep. Tax the rich, right? Now, hopefully we don't get a brain drain. It might. Hurts the GDP a lot, though, especially over here. We, If we keep it sort of in this area, it doesn't really have a big impact on GDP. And it does provide a lot of money. It's whiskey and chocolate. Okay. I'm gonna save the rest. Whiskey and chocolate. Hey, Skaverat! After you get assassinated by religious people, you should do a run where you do the exact opposite of what you'd normally do. Now, that would be a thing. <gasps> Guys! We have an, an egalitarian society! Everyone likes this! Look at that! Doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, you are you have equal access to everything in our wonderful society. That's great. Apparently, we have a royal scandal. Uh, wow! Prominent member of the royal family has been accused of spending a suspicious amount of time with a convicted sex offender, despite that individual's sordid history being well known. Uh, this is being described at best, poor judgment, and at worst, deeply suspicious. How does your government react? Do we support the monarch, or do we criticize the monarch? Support El Presidente? Oh my god. <laughs> you made me do a spit take. Uh... A little split. It looks like it, it, it criticizes definitely ahead. <laughs> criticize and behead, says uh, Cassiempe. Wow. All right, we will criticize the monarch. Keeps boosting our relate. I mean, the liberals should be really liking us here. How are we looking overall with them? Uh, not maybe as high as we'd like, but yeah, our popularity just keeps going up and up and up as we keep uh, maintaining our promises, uh, which is wonderful. If we take a look over here, actually, at the manifesto, oh, we've met every single promise because our gender equality is at 93% uh, and probably still rising. So that's not bad. All we have to do is stop extremists from killing us uh, and also not go bankrupt. I don't want to be too many things over here. It's funny, we lowered income tax, but we're doing other, you know, other taxy things. Um, tax taxes. Yeah, let's do the anti homes tax. Yeah, it lowers membership in socialism because less people are cranky about it. 
Done. Reduce pensions. I mean, if we... I mean, we could! It'd save a lot of money by reducing pensions. Alright, I'm gonna bring them down a little bit. Bring them down by about 10% of where we are. A lot of people are happy about this. Okay, we don't have a lot left. Enterprise, uh, what was the Enterprise uh, scheme? Under tax? No. Oh, yeah. Um, system would give tax breaks to wealthy individuals who invest their money in small startup companies which are based in this country. Hmm. It would be spending money, but boosts in GDP. Makes everyone happy except socialism membership. It's actually not a terrible idea. Oh, yeah. Whis whiskey and chocolate tax. Never! Let's see what's going to happen if they try to tax our whiskey. So, I mean, other than the fact that we'd be spending money, um... Self-employed people would be happy. It increases the GDP. Capitalists would be happy. Socialists would not be happy, and more people would become socialists. Um, Self-employed income goes up. High earnings people get pleased as well. State-funded pyramid scheme. I mean, it'd be spending money right now. It would boost GDP, which is nice. But overall, I'm not sure it's the right thing for us at this moment. Yeah, what is the tobacco and petrol tax? That's not a bad idea. Um, petrol tax is really low. We don't have the points to raise it, but that actually might be a really strong idea. Um, the tobacco tax actually is also really low. I Well, we only have four points. Let's advance time and see about doing one of those. Hospital overcrowding has ended! We did just fi fund our private health care, or um, public health care more, state health care, yes. So that makes sense. We got another garbage scam? What, what do we have to do to stop this from being a problem? Do we need, like, a better uh, recycling plan? Oops. Backspace gets you out of this screen. Yeah, there's no recycling stuff over here. I don't know. Uh, what we're we going to look at? Oh, yeah. Um, let's increase tobacco tax. As much as we have the points to do it. This is this is going to piss off everyone, but they're going to have to deal with it. It increases poverty because um, it's a higher percentage of people's uh, disposable income. Uh, Skaver, thank you. Oh, no, sorry. It's bits that just came in. Uh, Sweet Orange Bunny. Democracy run where you play as El Presidente could be fun. Yeah, we've I've, I've gone full authoritarian runs before. That's good. Um, is there a recycling policy that we can mess with. The problem is this screen is not searchable as far as I know. And that might be handy. Um, okay. So, the environment. Recycling. There we go. Let's crank the shit out of this. Done. Okay, hopefully that'll prevent that from happening some more. So we cut state health pensions a bit, but boosted state health services. That's good. I wonder if we can drop military spending. Um, I think military spending does have an impact. No, it doesn't have an impact on my security investments. It's whiskey and chocolate. Not that we spend that much on it anyway. It's unemployment's going to rise because we're going to be hiring fewer people here. Hmm. Uh, state rail to fix unemployment. I mean... Yeah, let's take another look at petrol tax. Which is the other one that people wanted uh, for us to take a look at here. Um, boosting this is probably a fairly good idea. Uh, it will aid in electric car transition, which is nice to see. We should actually click that and see where we can go with it. Let's raise the petrol tax. Not going to increase our income that much, but it's something. Um, electric car transition. I'm curious about it. What was that? It was some dude! Thank you very much, some dude! I think I missed you reading my previous donation. Could you read and answer it? What? Oh shit, I did! 
I did. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, good luck in your re-election. Will you continue your Port Royal Let's Play? What are your thoughts on the game? Thanks for all the vid strategies and entertainment. A lot of people have been asking for Port Royal to continue, and so that will likely be the case. Uh, I was a little bit busy over the last few days. Uh, there's Baldur's Gate and things like that. I am hoping to probably continue it, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cancel military. Uh, yeah, we are about 70% electric, which is pretty impressive. All right, we've uh, we spent all our points, so we can't do anything else right now. So let's advance. Rewrite school history books. Many of the textbooks used in school history lessons are outdated and reflect a somewhat generous view of our country's past and its achievements. Campaigners suggesting major changes to the way children are taught our history to evaluate our past with modern altitude, uh, attitude. If we write this, I suspect it'll piss off the um, the patriots again because you know if we if we mention that, well, you know maybe colonial nations have certain issues you know but some people aren't gonna like that it's like <laughs> no we're gonna rewrite them because it's the right thing to do oh parents like it i mean i knew liberals would education goes up as well and the patriots don't as expected got more whiskey and chocolate from belva says my dearest el presidente just imagine all the little children cheering as the big el presidente quill train will drive from town to town and bring you uh bring you get so much chocolate and whiskey as thank you <sighs> all right we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do a state rail uh, by the end of all this. Deficit is there, but it is actually shrinking. Uh, the world economy is bouncing back a little bit, so at least we've got that helping out, which is nice. Patriots are coming for you. Actually, right now we don't have any real threats, which is nice to see. Everyone's fairly pleased with me. They might be like you know, not happy about certain like ideological policies, but they can't argue about the fact that the country is in fairly good shape. Respiratory disease has bounced a little bit. Doctor's strike actually went up. I don't know if we're going to be able to deal with that uh, ever. Uncompetitive economy. At some point, maybe. Environmental protests are nearly done. We could maybe get our productivity up a little bit higher through tech and things. Although it dipped a little with maternity leave, of course, it makes sense. Technology grants. That might be nice, actually. Lowers unemployment, increases technology, GDP, productivity, makes the capitalists happy. I mean, it's money, which we don't have a lot of right now. I guess if we're going to spend money, uh, we, we may have to do a state rail company, huh? Tear gas, water cannons. Technology colleges. Actually, these are not very expensive to run. Everyone wants some choo-choo? All right, you know what? The Twitch voters have demanded it. We're going to implement... Oh, nationalize the industry. Implementing this policy will take the entire industry into state ownership. This will please socialists, upset capitalists, and have a large uh, one-off cost. So it's going to cost us $7 billion to nationalize in the first place and then have our thing. Everyone wants it. All right. National choo-choo trains. Okay. So you can see the rail industry is tanking because we're taking it over. Um, I mean, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it to the max, right? <laughs> I like how corruption goes up. Uh, productivity will rise. Rail usage will go up as well. Is it CPV versus CN? Well, we'll have to build a cool tower. At some point, that's for sure. All right, I don't have a lot of points left. I'm going to go to the next turn and see what this does to our economy. Environmental protests have ceased! Oh, safeguard oil supplies. Ah! Representatives from oil companies based in our country have requested that the government deploy troops overseas at our oil refineries in the Middle East to protect them from attack by terrorists. I'm going to say no because we're really moving away from an oil-based industry. We're not going to deploy troops. It would hurt us um, in terms of international relations, which we're fairly dependent on. So I'm just going to go ahead and decide to do this. I think minorities like that, so that's a perk. This. <laughs> maxed, maxed, maxed. Zero, zero. The only thing that would be nice if there was no unemployment, but we're not quite there. Deficit is $12 billion a quarter. Debt is rising. <laughs> what did we do? What did we do? Check threats? No, threat situation is fine. I can't raise income tax because that was an election promise, but we could increase maybe corporate income tax. 